happy Thursday, May 25th. Welcome to your daily WOD briefing. Uh, I'm here to take you guys through your workout for today. Uh, let's go ahead and jump into your warm-up. You guys have a six-minute AMRAP, so as many rounds and reps as possible in six minutes of a 100-meter run. Go ahead and give me 20 seconds out, 20 seconds back. Then we have 25 feet of butt kickers. With your butt kickers, you guys can have your hands behind your butt cheeks, or you can just use your butt cheeks themselves, and you're going to kick your butt. So stay light on the balls of your feet, and your heels will be making contact with those booty cheeks. Okay, next you guys have a 25 foot toe touch. So you guys are gonna reach your foot out, opposite hands, you're gonna touch opposite foot. We're going for a nice stretch back in the hamstring, and then we will switch. You guys can walk with these, or maybe if your room's a little bit smaller, you guys can stay in place. Gives me about 10 each side if we're staying in place, all right? Uh, next you guys have a 25 foot side shuffle. The difference between a lateral squat walk, um, and a side shuffle is going to be the speed of your feet, all right? So uh, with your side shuffle, you guys are gonna stay low and you wanna make sure you stay low all the way through, making sure we're not bobbing up and down, but you guys are gonna shuffle from side to side, okay? Staying nice and light on those feet. Next, you guys have a karaoke. Let's see if we can walk through this. So karaoke, you're gonna come up and around and then cross, back, up, around, cross, back. Okay, um, if you guys need um, some time to figure that out, go ahead and play with it. Um, it's a little bit uh, fancy footwork here, but what I'm really looking for, I'm looking for this hip flexor to work, to engage, to bring that knee up and around, and I'm looking for that cross behind. Okay, try and keep your hips square to wherever you're moving, and not to open your hips up. Make your hip flexors uh, do the work here. Next, you guys have 10 bent over rows. We're gonna go 10 each side. So you guys are gonna grab your dumbbell. Make sure it's light and you're just getting warmed up. You guys are gonna go on your leg. Arms gonna start locked out. We're gonna um, have our hands start in this neutral position. We're gonna squeeze our shoulder blade back, making sure our shoulders stay down and don't creep it up into our ears. And we're gonna pull that dumbbell to our chest here, okay? We're looking at getting our lats working, all that muscle tissue in the back of your shoulders moving. So make sure you're making that muscle-mind connection as you guys go, okay? Uh, next, you guys have your 10 dumbbell straight press. Again, we're gonna go 10 each side. You're gonna go ahead and put that dumbbell up top. Feet are gonna be set underneath your hips. Belly buttons pull back towards your spine. Hips are stacked under your shoulders. Elbow starts in front of that dumbbell. We're gonna go ahead and press straight up. Arm locks out. Ears come past your biceps at the top, making sure you maintain a tight core and a vertical torso all the way through, okay? All right, now let's go ahead and jump into part one. Today you guys have a 12 minute EMOM. So every minute on the minute, you guys have 60 seconds to complete some work. However, we're gonna be doing time work here, okay? So we're gonna be working for 45 seconds and you'll have 15 seconds of rest to switch to your next movement. So minute number one, you guys have a 45 second hammer curl. If you guys have two dumbbells, work both dumbbells at the same time, okay? If we have one dumbbell, we're gonna work one arm for 45 seconds, and we'll make sure we switch arms um, every cycle, okay? So on the first set, we're gonna go right arm, next set, we'll go left arm. Let's go ahead and talk about these hammer curls. With your hammer curls, you guys are gonna have that arm starting in a locked out position, feet are gonna be on your hips again, belly buttons pull back towards your spine, okay? We're going to curl up towards our shoulder, and then lock back out at that bottom position. Okay, our goal here is to minimize a kip, right? No swinging of that dumbbell. We want strict contraction all the way up and then nice and controlled movement all the way back down. Okay, make sure it's not just flailing around here, okay? Um, next, you guys have a dumbbell form best. Same concept, if you guys are working with one dumbbell, work one dumbbell on one side for one cycle and then switch sides on the other cycle. If you guys have two dumbbells, go ahead and work both. Also, if you guys have a, uh, a barbell, you can also use this as well. Just be careful getting up into this uh, rack position here. So, um, you guys are going to have your feet locked out, okay? I want your feet out, I want them to be right in front of you. And you're gonna get this dumbbell up in front, okay? So, from here, we're gonna pinch our shoulder blades together. We're pulling our belly button back towards our spine. Legs are gonna be locked out with control we're gonna bring our elbow down to a 45 degree angle. So you don't want your elbow to be back at a 90 degree angle. We want it at a 45 degree angle. Okay, again, 
Shoulder blades are pinched together, core is nice and tight, and I'm going to punch the ceiling in front of me, and then with control, nicely kissing the ground with my elbow on the way back down, okay? You guys should be feeling this in your pec, right? We're gonna be feeling this in the pec, kind of right in the, right in the front of the shoulder right here, okay? Um, so that's gonna be your floor plex. A couple, couple things in this, guys. Make sure your feet are up. Make sure your shoulder blades aren't flat. You wanna make sure you stay contracted. And then make sure we don't have a loose spine, so we shouldn't be using our hips to get this dumbbell moving, okay? Your lower body here, your core, should stay nice and tight all the way through so it can help stabilize that dumbbell. Um, next, you guys have your flutter kicks. We're gonna be in a hollow body position. So we're gonna have our hands behind our head, chin is tucked to chest, we're gonna have our feet together, toes are gonna be pointed, and we're gonna flutter kick here, okay? So this is kind of different than our normal flutter kicks, you don't usually do them in a hollow body position, but here we are. So, um, again, shoulders rub off the floor, chin's tucked to chest, legs locked out, toes are pointed, okay? We need to scale this a little bit, we can go ahead and put our hands under our butt cheeks here, but again, chin stays tucked to chest, and we're going to be flutter kicking. The higher up your feet are, the easier it is. The lower to the ground, the harder they are. However, don't let your feet touch the ground, okay? Um, your score for today for part one is gonna be your total number of reps accumulated throughout the entire EMOM. Um, let's go ahead and let's jump into part two. Um, part two, we have a workout today called Kata. You guys have four rounds of a 400 meter run, 20 burpees, and then either 10 pull-ups or 10 power cleans. If you're working a barbell, it's gonna to be total. If you're working a dumbbell or an odd object, it's gonna be 10 each side. 400 meter run, go ahead and give me um, two minutes out and then two minutes back, right? So two minute out and back. Um, and then for your burpees, you guys are gonna have your hands touch the floor. You're gonna jump your feet back, chest and quads touch the ground. Open your hips and shoulders up to the top, okay? We're going to scale, we're going to go ahead and scale a step back, so step your feet back, chest and quads touch the ground, or step back, so don't push up. You guys can even raise the surface that you're going to be burping off of um, to make those a little bit easier. Um, if we are moving quickly through these, I do want to see your feet come off the ground, there needs to be some lift off the floor, and again, chest and shoulders open up. This is not a finishing position, this is. For your pull-ups, if you guys have access to a barbell, excellent, do pull-ups, okay? Um, if not, we're gonna go for a power clean. So if you're power clean, you're gonna be using the dumbbell or a barbell, whatever you have access to, and we're gonna have our feet set underneath our hips, okay? We're gonna touch the outside of our foot, back is gonna stay nice and straight, we'll drive through our heels, hips open up, dumbbell comes up to our shoulder, okay? Make sure you guys are getting those shoulders working. So big shrug, elbows gonna come high, and you'll drop under in that corner squat. Hips open up before you come down. So again, pulling with the upper body, and then extending the hips to get power to get that dumbbell moving up. Um, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to comment below. If you guys complete this workout, make sure you guys post your time. Your time will be your score for the day. All right, guys, go ahead and have a great rest of your day, and we'll see you back here tomorrow.